Hi, it's Linda here with another great set of tools. I've got two products that I want to show you. Uh, you can purchase them separately, but I recommend getting them both. If you're a quilter, you need these. If you're a crafter, you're going to want these. If you're a sewer, you're going to want these. Why, if you're a quilter, you, do you need these? You need to take a break. You've been quilting and quilting and quilting, and you're working on the same project. Do something fun. Take a break. Let's add some snaps to your projects. Snaps are a little intimidating because there's different sizes, different types. What if I don't adhere them so they stay right? So we've got a tool for you that makes it easy. This is our snap pliers. This is the tool itself. You've got a couple pieces that come with this that you don't really need. This piece here, these are replacement pieces that are for different size snaps. We've got a kit with one snap that you're probably going to use most of the time anyway, so leave this alone. If you do want to get different snaps, we can see inside here this silver piece is a little bit bigger than this. So we would swap that out. We've given you a screwdriver. Flat versus the Phillips, you can unscrew. This will work on here if you want to. But I'm going to leave it alone and put these guys right back in here because I'm good to go. So let me show you the second part of this because this is what you're going to want to get. We have 150 snap plier replacement snaps. You've got about 150 and if we look over at this kind of a periwinkle blue, we've got the female part, we've got the male part, and then we've got double the number. There's 10, 10, and 20. We need one of these for the front, one of these for the bottom, or the top and the bottom. We're gonna be putting this on the top or the bottom, this on the top or the bottom. So for each snap, we're gonna need one, two, one, two. So these guys, these guys go together. So let's take a look at how this works. So we're gonna grab some fabric and I just wanna show you typical, typical cotton. Now this can be for those cell phone carriers, the all of your um, cords and those kinds of things, wrap them up for baby bibs, for little snap purses, coin purses, those kinds of things. So you're probably gonna be working with a piece of cotton, but I'll show you how we can deal with batting as well. And here comes the rain. So you've got a point on here and that point is probably gonna poke through most of your fabrics. So we don't need anything yet. In a minute, I'll show you where we might need something else. If this is where I want this to go, I'm just gonna simply poke through and just push down with my fingernails. I'm gonna grab the corresponding piece. I'm gonna take the male piece here. And when I place this on top, that's gonna to kind of hold in place. I wanna grab my tool and this bottom that I have here is gonna go underneath. So I'm gonna get my fabric inside and I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna pull this back so you can see the green inside of there. I'm holding that snugly with my thumb there and holding this on top here and I wanna squeeze. Now when I remove my hand, I'm gonna take both hands and give this a good squeeze. If you need to reposition, just make sure you haven't let go. I don't want that to get loose. Give it a good squeeze and then we stop and we're good to go. This is your first piece. This is probably gonna be on the top and what we wanna do now, imagine this is a cute little wallet. When I put this down here, I don't wanna just guesstimate. I want to grab something. Our metallic pens are good. The chalk pens are good as well. And what we're gonna do is fold this and if I put a little mark on here, I can do that, but I'm just gonna do this. I can feel right here, I'm gonna lift up, and I put right there a nice little mark. That way I know where that needs to be. So what do I wanna do now? I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna go in the opposite direction. This again goes on the bottom. This was on the top before. You can see how the pretty part is gonna show. I need the snap part to be showing. So when we place this inside, I don't have a hole here, so I wanna grab where my marker is and I'm gonna place this in right inside and I'll feel as I push right along and I'm pushing down with my fingernails. I'm gonna put this piece on top again. I wanna make sure when I have this, let me show you the wrong and the right. This is double-sided, there's a correct side. That side right there is where we want it to be, not that side. All right, can you see that? There is wrong, this is right. So we place that on, I'm gonna grab my tool. I'm gonna to get that green right inside of here. I wanna make sure it stays in place. So my thumb was on, I get that out of position and I give it a good squeeze. What that's gonna allow me to do is get my two snaps. I'm gonna line this up, give it a good snap. 
if I've got that lined up, and you'll feel and hear it snaps. Now, I don't have any batting, I don't have any sizing, I don't have anything in here. It will help if you have an interfacing or something else, but you can see how those stay on really well. So I wanna show you a couple things that are really practical about this. I love all of those foams. I love the thermals, I love the Bosal fusible, this, material here equals kind of all of those. This snap goes on easily with this, but what I have to do is treat it a little bit differently. Let me show you another project that we're gonna treat a little bit differently. I have two layers of batting here. This is a thin batting, but I have two layers because you may be doing a project with two layers, and you can see how that snap works there too. So what do we need to do? We need to grab something sharp. I love Martelli's precision scissors because they let me go right on in. Imagine I have a cute wallet and I was gonna go like this. I would be stitching down. Everything would be finished probably when I go to do this. And I say probably because I'm gonna show you a project in a minute that we need to put the snap on previously. So do you see if I want the snap to go here? What I wanna do is go through. We're gonna again, put your mark there. And this isn't any project that I really would be doing, so lining up doesn't matter that much. But can you see how I'm pushing through? I wanna push through so that I can get that snap to go through. This doesn't go here, because remember, we're gonna be coming this away, so this goes on that back side. So imagine a really cute project. I'm gonna bring this through, and then look to see what we have here. We've got this piece, so I need to grab, and you notice I'm not matching my colors. I'm not gonna match my colors at all. I'm gonna grab this. Not matching your colors, but coordinating your colors, which I haven't done here, but imagine coordinating these would be really cute. All right, we're gonna get that in the base to where I feel like it's sitting in there, and then that goes in, and give this a really good squeeze because I've got a whole lot of material that I'm trying to get that snap to stay on. Look how cute the not matching color is. What do we do when we bring this over and this snaps down? Imagine this is a cute little wallet that I have and that snaps and let me show you the value. Do you see how that stays? That doesn't come out. So even with something thick like this, something thick like this, you're gonna be able to work this. Now I said, do the project first Get it all finished before you put the snaps, except I'm gonna grab this. I love oil cloth and laminated fabric and these will work really well. But you can imagine right here is where I would want my snap and right here is where I would want my snap. Look what won't work. Do you see how this only goes this far? So when you're planning a project like this, you've got to decide how far this will go. This will not let me go any further than about an inch. So before you sew all of this together, go ahead and put that snap in place so you know you're good to go beforehand. All right, so let's review what we've got here. We've got about 150 different colors. You've got enough to do 10 of each color because we've got 20 of the caps, the one for the top, the one for the bottom, and we've got 10 of the females and 10 of the males in each of the colors. So that's the attachment, the replacement snap um, kit. So snap pliers, replacement snaps, about 150 in there. Then we have the snap pliers, we have the tool itself, you've got your screwdriver, you've got your options for bigger snaps, smaller snaps, if you decide you wanna order different snaps. Those are two separate products that you can get at www.martellinotions.com. Go look for the snap tools, the snap pliers, the snap replacement kits, and you'll have a great time with these. We'd love to see what you do with this.